Wonderful good morning. This is Grandpa Neighborhood Media News. So me get it, and so me go now. Me not take out, and me not put in. <laughs> Well, uh, yesterday in Marant Bay, it was a drastic moment which the JN Bank, the Jamaica National Bank in Marant Bay, St. Thomas. Oh. Good morning, Jamaica. I'm here in St. Thomas. My name is Junior Sewell. We are here to debate and uh, they're hurting that people are trying to scam your account in the JN Bank or the Jamaica National Building Society. I have a account there where people send their money from far and you can get it on your card. So if you're at home or you have an account there, you don't feel safe and you can go and check it. I think it's the best time because if somebody pull out your money that you work hard for and somebody send your money from abroad, you have an account here with JN and you go there and it's not there, then you're going to feel upset. So I think the government is doing the right thing now and we are make certain that if it's really happening we are going to have the deadline today to tell you why they're doing this thing there's a lot of people that start to take your money and we are saying this that's not right and we are here to make certain that your money is safe so you can come and check out your money today at the JN account and make certain that it's safe and insure Mas People are mourning, worrying, and cussing because they are losing their money in. Lose all of my savings. You lose all your? Yeah? All my savings, then empty their account. So. I'm going to go to the bank now, and I'm going to tell them I'm going to take our information, send it go to town, up to two months to investigate. So when my youth forgot school, you know, and I forgot the machine go dry lunch money. How it go go? Hmm? When my little youth forgot school, and you forgot dry your money, you know, how it go go? So do you, say, do you feel safe banking? No, right now I'm thinking about buying a chase. Thinking about buying a chase, cool it down in my house and put my money in there. Bank not safe again. It don't make no sense. To me, card, card, this, them here, no make no sense. I bet if you go in a bank or draw your money and you use no card. You see me? A fool in this day. So tell me now. We lose all our money. And we in the money for send a picnic at school. The bank should have able to lend we our money without no interest. So we can have it for use till them refund back our money. But I'm, 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 you see what I'm I'm a done talk, brother. Alone. You see me? In the bank. Now, it starts from NCB. Now I understand that all the banks in Martin Bay, but yesterday, JN is the topic which the people them hold there are gallon bad because they want but their money. And then now, you have to pay 1,000 Jamaican dollar for large any amount of money in your account, which I think that's a fraud. But anyway. Miss. Oh no, yeah. Miss Miss Edwards. Miss Edwards? Yes. What Edwards? Earl Edwards. Earl Edwards. Right. What's the problem you're having now? We are in Mar today. Yeah, Friday we come to this bank here to large $17,000. I go to the, the teller. The teller tell me, I must go and use the machine. I tell him that I can't use it. He give me somebody, say, well, go with that man. Tell, me, tell that man to help you use it. That man get busy in the place. That's, he's one of the same teller. have to come and help me. She tried to put the, the money in the machine three times. And the machine refused it. I go back to the teller and tell her, say, well, the machine refused any money. She tell me that we must go back to the teller, go back to the machine, or how to have to pay a thousand dollars to put in the money. And the machine had to it free. You understand? So I know, say, well, you have put your money in the bank. You have to pay a thousand dollars. You understand? That means if you go put $1,000 in the bank, you have to pay $1,000. I never know say them conditions as a Jamaica go now. I never know that. You understand? Know, you know, you know, you know, you know. 
A lot of people don't want to pay the one thousand dollars, so they rather to use the machine to lodge their money. And if you go to the machine with fifty thousand dollars, so you're lodging it, you have to lodge it about 10 15 times because the machine refusing, you put it back, they refusing, they take some, the machine refusing. So a lot of scamming activities going on in the bankers of today which the people them start bank their money at them yard we are going over to the scene right now yeah i uh, i was at a funeral um yesterday at delphi and uh, when i came out i got a text on my phone that money was missing from my account i'm gonna tell you something just yeah. sure. Uh, about what? How much? About it's over a hundred. Over hundred. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah they take over a hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. And so you feel mm -hmm. safe banking still? I I I don't even I don't even really feel safe banking anymore because I have a different account there and. I just want to take everything from um mm. you know because I don't know what's happening. Yes. Yes. I, I don't know what's happening. Today, in Marin Bay, St. Thomas, international artist Popcorn is to appear in the Marin Bay court. Today, you will see more about it later. That Jeez, I'm winter. Uh, I'll go home. Sure. Tell us what happened in court. My name is Matthew Hyatt. I'm one of the attorneys representing Mr. Sullivan, along with Mr. Bert Samuels. And today we entered a plea of guilty to four of the five charges. He was fined a total of $6,000, $1,500 on each count, according to the Town and Communities Act. And we explained to, to court that, you know, we're taking responsibility for our actions and that Mr. Sutherland is a great member of St. Thomas. He has held on Ruli Fest for several years. This is his third staging, attracting over 6,000 persons. And it is unfortunate that the event was ended in the manner it was. But of course, tempers flared and emotions ran high. And, you know, in the initial outset, he said manners and respect to the police officers. And of course, it brings into sharp focus the issues relating to the Noise Abatement Act because entertainers in Jamaica are not being granted the opportunity to have their events uh, free, you know, within the spaces and confines of Jamaica. We see events being held in Europe, for example, where they have proper space for their events. And we don't have that in Jamaica. You know, but Mr. Sutherland has certainly been a target of the JCF for several years now. Um, he has matters even before the court relating to the JCF. And so we can understand why he reacted in the manner he reacted. But we have pleaded guilty and we will be back before the court on February 9, 2024, relating to the issue of the Noise Abatement Act because the permit that was granted to on Ruli Fest was not granted to Mr. Sutherland. I can't speak more on that matter because it's a matter that is before the court and it is a matter that we will have to discuss further on February 9. So it is for the Crown to get advice on that matter and we will see how we go from there. No, yes, you mentioned that he had problems with the police, but he was given a chance to apologize. What do you say? Apologize for what? You mean for today? The court asked him yes. if he had anything to say to the police. Yes. And he had nothing to say. That is, that is clear. I spoke on his behalf. He is still aggrieved, even though we have taken this position, and rightly so. So he has nothing to say to the police. Yes. Thank you very much.
Yeah, but I still come up. You can't make any your clothes. Clark, can't close mark. Can't close mark. Man, I stop telling you. Can't close mark them. You don't like the man Clark, so come up. Tell you that long time. You don't like the man Clark. Up to the time. Why judge me? Let me know that this. Why not You know, I try interview me. You Today is the grave digging of Richie. Cooley Richie. We call him the Lynx Man. Yes. Today will be his grave digging in Georgia district. So, my friends, please to be there to support Richie. That was the news from the Grandpa Neighborhood Media. As some get it, as some go no, me not take out, and me not put in. <laughs>